Okay, who's married here? Not to each other. Well, no. Um, Elise, did you win him over with your cooking? My spaghetti, because that's the first thing I made for him, so. You got straight to his heart via the stomach, right? Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer, the last time you seduced a man, how was it? All right, well, I know what takes the boxes off. <laughs> 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 I'm single chef, married to the job. OK, what I'm getting at is that romance and food goes hand in hand, right? Yes, yeah, sure. For today's challenge, each of you will be responsible for creating a sexy, delicious dessert. Wow. You've got one hour. Your time starts now. Off we go. I call the berries. This is rough, man. The chefs have just one hour to create a romantic dessert. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Using a wide variety of ingredients provided by Chef Ramsay. Fucking hate desserts. I'm not comfortable with desserts, but I play to win. I said it from day one, and I'll say it now. The only one that can beat me is me. I have blue team, 40 minutes left. I have no idea what the fuck I'm going to do. While Will struggles to find inspiration, in the red kitchen, Jamie is not exactly having a sweet time either. I hate desserts. Everybody does. <laughs> I'm being pushed out of my comfort zone, and that's not easy for anybody. For me, it's really hard. I've always said I'm the worst pastry chef on Hell's Kitchen. You can't be worse than me. There's no way. Ladies, just under 30 minutes to go, yes? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Oh, that's warm. It smells good. Yeah, it does. On top, the chocolate on top? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I think I know it's sexy when it comes to food. I'd rather put myself on a plate, you know, drizzle some chocolate on me. That would work, but um, we couldn't do that. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Coffee and macadamia nut sticky bun with white chocolate drizzle and... I don't know where Tommy got the idea right. that a sticky bun is a dessert because it's a breakfast food. Oh, I burnt my coconut again. Tommy is very scatterbrained. Completely winging it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's go! Two and a half minutes to go. One stunning portion, guys, not 15. Move, Tommy. Guys, finish up. 30 seconds to go. Oh, my gosh, it's perfect. Three, two, one, and serve. Listen to me carefully. You've got four on the blue team. You have five on the red team. Ladies, drop one dessert. Pick one. Jennifer, I can still taste the alcohol I'm in your bananas. Pizza. I can't, but I just think Carrie's isn't the prettiest. That's my issue. Yo, mine is very good. It was very tasty. Fine. I'll take mine down, but I'm telling you. It's melting, guys. Can we fucking make a decision? You have a lot in yours. That's a lot. Yeah. That's no, a lot. it's for two yeah. to share. I think that they're going to have a mess with that. I really yeah, do. I think we should drop Elisa's. Pick one. Drop Elise. Elisa's dessert look like baby vomit. As soon as you shove a spoon in that, it's going to go That's not sexy. Time's up. All right, we're done. We better Thank fucking you. win. It's hard to be a team when some people are out for themselves. At least I sit here and admit that I have selfish tendencies and that I can be a bitch. Elise, you have the weakest dessert on the red team. Unfold your arms. Blue team, let's start off with Tommy. Go, Tommy. Let's go, Blue. The desserts will be rated on a star system, with each of the guest judges giving each dessert between one and three stars. The team with the most stars wins. Uh, oh, Jesus. What the fuck is that? I made a toffee and macadamia nut sticky bun. And, uh... Sticky bun? My gal loves chocolate, and she loves uh, cinnamon buns. How old is she? She's rather young, Chef. Uh, <laughs> you really gonna put me on the spot? Uh, she's 19. All right. And how old are you? 31, Chef. 31. I've been with a couple gals, and uh, this is the last one, Chef, I'll tell you that. Just think, the good news is, in two years' time, she'll be drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Waylon, sticky bun, in terms of sexy appeal, yes or no? Not so much. It's just sort of plopped on the plate and drizzle all over. Waylon, please, jump in. It's definitely not done. It still has that translucent-looking color in the dough. I'm still chewing. You present a dessert that's undercooked. Tommy. How many stars, please? One. Jordan, how many stars? I'm sorry, buddy. I'm going to have to agree. One star. One star. I really just made something that I know my girl would want to eat. So I was kind of cooking for her. I love you, baby. Jamie, please. With the blue team off to a shaky start, it's now Jamie's turn to step up for the red team. It's a croissant fig bread pudding with chocolate and a strawberry champagne glaze. Jordan? The Chantilly, the whipped cream is separating a little bit. Probably give it about one star. One star. I would give that two stars. I tried to make it as sexy as bread pudding can be. I guess it was an epic fail. Paul, please, present your desserts. Thank you. Come on, baby. It is a banana polenta cake with a lemon mascarpone whip. It mm -hmm. really shines and evenly balanced with everything else. Thank I really you. I like it. One, two, three. I would three. give that a three. Thank you. Three. Wow. I'd say three stars. Thank you. 
great job. Thank you. Really good job. Good job, boy. Bam! Sexy time. Elizabeth, let's go. Blue team, you lead. Now, with the red team trailing by five stars, Elizabeth's ricotta strawberry Napoleon gets mixed reviews. I'll give you two on this one. It's very gritty, yeah. grainy. Waylon, one? Yes. Yeah. You know this wouldn't be happening if my dessert went up. Natalie, let's go. Come on, Blue. With the blue team up by two. I feel like it was cooked at a little too high of a temperature. Natalie's chocolate espresso bread pudding makes a small, disappointing contribution to her team's point total. One star. I'm going to go two stars. Now, it's Carrie's turn to impress the judges, Chef Ramsay, and her team. My nickname back home in Texas is Blondie, so I decided to go with a Blondie with butterscotch chips. It's not sexy, sexy, but maybe it'll be sexy in your mouth. <laughs> It's pretty sweet. There's no balance. Yeah. I mean, it's literally one component, nothing else there. I'm going to have to go one. I'm going to have to go with one also. Thank you, Carrie. Plain ass, sweet ass, I told you. That's how Carrie always plays. Plays it safe. That wasn't good. <sighs> You're, you should be lucky you got one. I love my team. They love me so much. <laughs> Let's go. With a three-star lead and only Jennifer left to go for the red team, Will only needs to score four stars total to guarantee a win for the blue team. It's definitely light. It's the lightest of all the desserts we've had so far. I'm very happy with the way things came out here. Will's a strong player in this game, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so nervous right now. Visually, Willen? It's not visually appealing. It's sort of the same color, the same tone, the same note. Then the combination of the cream and the salt and pepper, it almost gives it somewhat of like a rancid sort of taste. One thing you don't want to hear is the word rancid, right? No, not so much, no. no. I don't think you knew what you were doing. I'm going to have to go one. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm going to go with one star. One star? Yeah, uh, one all round, not good. And far from being sexy. I guess I don't have a choice but to agree with what the judges said about the dish. I mean, they're, they're experts. You know, Babe Ruth doesn't hit a home run every night, so what can you do? With Will scoring just one star from each judge. Jennifer, you need six stars to win. Let's go. Yeah, Jennifer. The door is open for Jennifer to win the challenge for her team, but she'll still need to get three stars from both judges. Jennifer, please describe the dish to the judges. I um, combined banana fosters with chocolate. Thank you. Flambeed with bourbon. And you actually put some thought into presentation. Thank you. I feel confident in my dish. I thought mine out. I think it looks great. I might actually be able to pull this off. Wait a Jordan, one star, two star, or three star? I'm going to go three. Wow. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, Jordan, one, two, or three? I think it's the best one we've had so far. I'm going to have to go with three stars. Yeah! Well done. Congratulations, Red Team. Congratulations. Great job. Thank Good job. you. We won because of me. Thank God I fought for my dish to get up because we almost didn't get the point. Just before I say goodbye to the judges, at least I want to taste that dish. Elise really better put her money where her mouth is right now. That's all I have to say. Uh, just explain to the judges what it is, please. It's a fresh berry zabayon. Followed by a heart bypass. A dessert for 10. I probably could have put in a smaller glass. Do you think so? <laughs> This is going to be so much fun. What is in there at the bottom? Berries and the liqueur and vinegar. Vinegar? How much vinegar have you put in there? Just a splash. No, there's more than a splash in there. Smell the vinegar in there. Honestly, <laughs> today's your lucky day. Let me tell you why. We're not awarding a zero. <sighs> Back in line. What a disaster. You made the right choice dropping that, let me tell you. Chef Ramsay nailed it. It was disgusting. We made the right decision. Good morning, Hell's Kitchen. How are you today? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Oh, shit. Let me tell you, the roads are backed up from here to Santa Monica. And it doesn't really matter because we won't be getting outside anytime soon today. So I hear the weather is shitty, but again, we wouldn't know anything about that. So back to you at HK Station. Trev, how you doing this morning? This sucks. Good morning, Mrs. Trevor. Yeah, good morning, Trevor. I need all of you downstairs immediately, please. Thank you. Yes, Chef. Come on, immediately. What the fuck, man? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. As you can see, Hell's Kitchen has yet again frozen over. Uh, yeah, no, thanks. I don't do ice skating or ice dancing or ice anything. I live in South Florida. Of all the Olympic sports, ice dancing is truly 
the most romantic? Ice dancing is real sensual. Motto, do you ever get romantic? Try to do at least once a day. <laughs> once a day. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, motto. OK, good. Similar to ice dancing, in the culinary world, there's nothing more romantic than... Dessert, chef. <laughs> Dessert. They pulled out a cupcake. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty romantic. You want that treat, that excitement at the end. Great to see you. Gorgeous sequence, thank you. Dessert takes a little bit of finesse, you know what I mean? Put you in the mood for the after dinner get down. For today's challenge, each of you will be creating one spectacular, delicious dessert. Your 60 minutes start now. Let's go. Time to make the donuts? Yeah, time to make the donuts. OK, let's do it. Taking one of my favorite desserts, bread pudding, and putting a little spin on it. Best part of waking up is cognac in your cup. Brett, what are you doing? Uh, I'm doing a white chocolate orange zest cognac arancini. Play on Italian creamy. Yes! Because you can't do spaghetti in a dessert. Well, again, with the Italian. Who the fuck are you, Rocky Balboa? Let's, like, shake it up a little bit. I mean, even he went on and did the Expendables. You can't make spaghetti dessert. Finger foods, to me, are sexy, you know, when you can feed the person, you know, that you in love with. You get to licking the fingers and whatnot. We, we know what can come after that. What are you making, Kenny? I'm making a um, Luxardo cherry tiramisu, but I'm going to do a deconstructed version. I want to make everything from scratch right now. I want to show Chef Ramsey that I am really good at making dessert. Yeah. Avocado mousse is done. I got my meringue working. Everything in my dish today is actually a superfood. The goji oji berries. Not only does it taste good and decadent, but it really is oh. good for you. I'd order that. Um, I think Trev might be getting a little overconfident. That's rich. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bread pudding is the most sought after comfort food. I put the whiskey in, I just want to know if I should go more or not. It's not hot. The whiskey is like so potent. You might want to cook that out just a little bit. I think Heather right now is a little tipsy. <laughs> Fuck. What? What's wrong with the tart shell? It crumbled, chef. It crumbled? All right, that's fine. Don't worry, don't worry. If you screw up something that you baked, it's not that easy to fix. Uh... The way I'm going to salvage this plating is by deconstructing it. 60 seconds to go. Come on, let's go. Fastest hour ever. Everyone's got their plates organized, yeah? Yes, chef. 30 seconds to go. Nice. Let's go. Trev, good? Beautiful. 10, 9, 8, young lady. You got it, Ariel. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Blue team, you have one more chef on your team than the red team. This is a three on three competition. So, ladies, turn around, come to consensus on which one you're going to drop. Hurry up. He's between these two. Speak it out. Based on presentation, I would say yours. I tasted it. I think it's going to be sweet on top of sweet on top of sweet. I feel like the brittle's a little clunky. So basically, mine's out. OK, whatever. Not I'm happy about that. Heather looks really pissed right now, but I don't care, because I personally tasted Heather's dish, and I don't like it. Heather, was it a tough decision? Apparently not, Chef, for the other three. We're dropping the bread pudding? Mm-hmm. That sounded delicious. Thank you, Chef. I know it did. Karma's a bitch, ladies, and you better hope doesn't come back to bite you in the ass. First up, let's start with Kanae. Let's go. In today's dessert challenge, Chef Ramsay and guest judge Valerie Gordon will both Please, score the chef. dishes individually from one to five. The team with the most points will win the challenge. Here I have a deconstructed Luxardo tiramisu. I made my chocolate lady fingers with the cherry glaze on the bottom. Yeah, presentation, um, mm -hmm. not the best for mm -hmm. me. It feels unfinished. Yeah. But let's taste, yeah? Cherry is one of the most challenging fruits to work with. Mm -hmm. You can either get that gorgeous sweetness or it can taste like cough syrup. I am getting a note of cough syrup. When you start deconstructing something, you need to come back with it better than it was constructed. Right. 
And so it's not hitting those marks. Nowhere near it. So I'm giving it one lady finger. I'm going to. Chef Valerie is not holding back anything. Right. Motto, describe your dessert for Chef, please. OK, I'm a big fan of the outdoors and camping. One of my favorite things to do out there is build a campfire and then do some s'mores at the end of the night, you know? So what I have here is a campfire bread pudding. Very moist inside. It is very moist. I think it's a great concept. It looks really good. And it's something that definitely strikes a lot of emotional chords for people. The milk chocolate gets a little bit lost for me. I really would have taken a bittersweet chocolate so you get a little more complexity in the flavor. There's something very lovely about it. I'm going to say three. Great concept. Yeah. Thank you. You've energized the challenge. Mm -hmm. It was great. For me, it's a four. Thank you, Chef. Seven is a great score to start off. You know, got us off the gate strong. So I have a deconstructed. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is going on? Uh, chef, I tried uh -huh. to go for the whole tart, but it crumbled, so I had to improvise. Well, it's a roasted apple and mascarpone tart. Okay. Well, let's see what we get here. Dig in. The ginger is a little aggressive for me. I want a stronger note of caramel mm -hmm. to play with that, okay. or else it just gets muddy. And I would say that that's my description of this dish is muddy. So I go two on that. Two. I'm going to be generous. Give it a two as well. Thank you, Mia. Mm -hmm. Stick with it, hon. <laughs> Sorry, Mia. Welcome to the real world where you're not a perfect little princess. Next up, the Italian stallion. <laughs> Brett. Brett. Let's go, please. Get him, Brett. Come on, kill him. I wanted to do a play on an Italian rice pudding, if you would, so I've prepared a white chocolate and vanilla arancini. And these little cuties are fried? They these are. These are little fried balls. Chef, how's that? Ooh. Oh, no. Al dente. Oh, jeez. Really? <laughs> it is no, no. really al dente. In today's dessert challenge, season 14 veteran Brett's Italian arancini balls have left guest judge Valerie Gordon extremely <laughs> underwhelmed. Beyond undercooked, just not really cooked. Not the taste. Did you taste it I did as you were making it? A thousand times, yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. No, you don't want to finish that. Right. <laughs> I like the concept. I think the concept was interesting, but the idea might be great. The experience might not be. Mm -hmm. That's a one. There's, there's nothing about that dish that came together successfully. It's a one from me as well. Damn, Chef Valerie just annihilated Brett's balls. I'm so sorry I fucked up, man. I'm yeah, so right. sorry, dog. The Italian stallion over here. You just served raw balls to two chefs. Somebody give Valerie, a five. Ariel, let's go, please. I am, like, completely stressing out about getting my dish judged. I have a Thai lime and beet tart. There's a please. lot there. That's yummy. That tastes really, really good. I don't think of beets in dessert. Uh -uh. Oh, delicious. There's something very smart about this. This is a four. Thank you, Chef. I would love to have seen 25% less because it yeah. gets a little bit long-winded. It's a three from me. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Chefs. Well, right now, I can only pray that Trevor got a banging ass dish. Come on, Trevor. All right, we could do this. All I need to get is a three or higher from both judges, and we're in like Flynn. I've made this dessert a bunch of times. Everybody loves it. You know, I'm thinking, all right, let's go up there and give her a kiss. These are avocado kisses. This is actually my take on superfood. I really dislike this dish, I have to say. I really dislike this. This is everything that I dislike about healthful eating getting integrated with dessert. It's incredibly soggy. Like, am I dreaming this? Because this is like one of my nightmares where I think that I make something amazing and then they just tear it to shreds and tell me I'm fucking horrible at my job. It tastes like a bush. <laughs> I want to forget this. Does that yeah. should be a treat? Absolutely. Right? Not a health kick. So I go one. One, yeah. I agree. Thank you. Blue team, congratulations. We most definitely dodged a bullet on this challenge. Thank God the guys were worse than we were. Whew. Whew. All of you join me in thanking this incredible artist. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> Thank you so much. Such a pleasure. Uh, great feedback and great comments. Good luck, comments. guys. Take uh, care. Thank you, Thank you very much.
But tonight's something special. And all three of you are gonna come up with a new, exciting, creative, inspirational dish that reflects you. And then the customers will decide. Your lives in Hell's Kitchen will depend solely on your individual dishes. Next challenge. This is my favorite challenge so far in Hell's Kitchen. Because this is a touch of magic that every restaurant should have. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. Blue Kitchen. Okay, the perfect souffle. Absolutely crucial in any restaurant. Great highlight, great fun. And when one customer sees it, they all want it. Ready? Egg whites. Mix it on. There are four steps to making the perfect souffle. The right amount of sugar must be added. Lightly sprinkle with the sugar. The egg whites must be whipped to a stiff peak for the souffle to rise. There you go. Stiff peak. And the flavored ingredients must be properly folded into the egg mixture. And now you fold. And then the finished mix must be poured into the mold and topped off. Raspy on top. Now, you've got the most amazing tray of ingredients, from fresh pineapple to coconut to passion fruit to bananas to jam. You decide. You've got 10 minutes to make the perfect souffle. Be creative and be inspirational. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. With little sleep, these three finalists must rise to the occasion to impress Chef Ramsay with their souffles. As soon as I saw that tray, I said, I know where I'm going. Chocolate, hazelnut, mint, bowl, done deal. Come on, guys. Good. You know, it was, it was tough. We're so tired. We have had no sleep when there's any sort of like time restraint like that. You forget about steps, you're moving so fast. Come on, Jesse. It's very touchy. If you don't whip your egg whites, like, you know, if they're slightly overdone or underdone, I mean, you can see the difference. One and a half minutes to go. I'm looking for texture, creativity, an inspirational finish. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Okay, Jessica, can I have yours first, please? Yes, Chef. What's inside it? A little bit of mint and a little bit of raspberries. Ralph. Chocolate, hazelnut, and mint. Michael. I have a raspberry chocolate. Okay. The real test is when the souffle bakes. It takes 15 minutes for it to hopefully rise. When they work, it's a dream come true. But when they don't work, it's a big disappointment. Jessica, looks a little bit spongy. <laughs> That's pretty shit. That is the worst souffle I've ever tasted. Okay, sure. Ralph. Mm. Hazelnut, chocolate, nice flavor. You needed to put more egg white in there to lift it. Michael. Mm. When you taste that, you'll understand that it needs more sugar. The winner is... Ralph, first. <laughs> Second place goes to Michael. And third place goes to Jess. Truth be told, you know, I've been laying low with all these challenges. And uh, today I decided to really turn up the heat a little bit and show up for this one. And I won the souffle challenge. <laughs>